Let's take a look at how to write variable equations. Lauren bought seven boxes of donuts. There were eight donuts in each box. Which equation, when solved, will tell how many donuts Lauren bought? Okay, so whatever we don't know, whatever we're trying to find, we can call that x. But we don't know the total number she bought, so that's what we can call x, or our variable. So we do know she bought seven boxes of donuts, and we do know there were eight donuts in each box. Well, if we multiply that together, seven boxes times eight donuts per box, that should equal our total number of donuts that she bought, which is x. So seven times eight equals x. Now read carefully to match it up because there's a lot of sevens and eights and x's, so really pick carefully. Seven times eight equals x would be the top left. Mackenzie bought 20 boxes of donuts. There were 10 donuts in each box. Which equation, when solved, will tell how many donuts Mackenzie bought? Okay, well this is the same idea. We're still figuring out the total number of donuts, which would be x, but this time there's 20 boxes with 10 donuts each. So we know we would have to multiply that together. 20 boxes times 10 donuts per box is going to equal our total number of donuts that she bought, x. So 20 times 10 equals x. There are 30 soda pops in the fridge. If Avery goes shopping and buys 20 more soda pops, which equation will tell us the total number of soda pops? Okay, well the total number of soda pops is what we don't know yet, so let's call that x. We do know that he already had 30, and then he went shopping and buys 20 more. Well, if he buys 20 more, we would have to add that on. So the 30 he already had plus 20 more is equal to the total number of soda pops, or x. So 30 plus 20 equals x. There are eight banana cats in the attic having a party. If several more show up and there are now 19, Choose the equation that will tell us how many banana cats are at the party. Okay, well, we know it started out with eight, right? There were already eight banana cats at the party. Several more show up. So we don't know how many more showed up. So that would be our variable, or x. But however many more showed up, we would have to add them to the eight that were already there. Now there are 19. So this equation, 8 plus x equals 19, represents how many banana cats are at the party. The water is being turned off, and so Elizabeth is filling up her bathtubs with water as a reserve. If she has 11 bathtubs, and each can store 10 liters of water, Choose the equation that will tell us how much water there is, okay? Well, we want to know the total amount of water. That's what we're going to call x. So we do know she's got 11 bathtubs, each storing 10 liters of water. So we would have to multiply that together, right? 11 bathtubs with 10 liters each, that would be 11 times 10, and that would equal our total amount of water, or x. So 11 times 10 is equal to x. There are five monkeys per species in a small forest. If each species is distributed equally and there are 10 species, how many monkeys are there? Choose the equation that will give us the solution. All right, well, there's five monkeys per species, right, of each species. And there's 10 different species. So we want to know the total number of monkeys, or x. Well, we would have to multiply this together. Five monkeys of each species times 10 species, that's going to equal our total number of monkeys. So 5 times 10 equals x. There are eight containers that contain a total of 40 tacos. How many tacos are in each container? 
Okay, well, how many tacos in each container or the tacos per container, that would be our variable X. That's what we're trying to find. Well, we know there's a total of 40 tacos in eight containers. So we would have to divide that, right? The total of 40 tacos divided by eight containers would leave us with X, how many tacos we have in each container. So 40 divided by eight equals X.